Caltrip core rule summary. We will use a stat system. Each stat will have a number from 1 to 3. This will represent the number of four-sided dice you roll. The highest number is your result in conflict resolution. Stats. Mind. You roll to resolve rigorous mental actions. Body. Roll to resolve risky physical actions. Soul. Roll to resolve precarious emotional actions. Combat. Initiative is 2d4 plus your body stat. Keep that order throughout the encounter. The d4 results. 1. You take 1 damage as the opponent counters your attack. 2. You do not hit and you are in the same position as before. 3. You deal 1 damage. 4. You deal full weapon damage. Luck. Luck will be a currency that you use to add dice to your pool. You replenish your luck by sleeping. You add one point back after each 8 hour rest. Or if you roll a 4 on all your dice. So taking a chance with one die rolls gives you a better chance to gain luck. You may spend as many luck points as you wish to ensure success. Advancement. You get XP by accomplishing a goal, defeating a foe, or rolling ones. Each one of those nets you 1 XP. You start at level 0. To go to level 1 you need 4 XP. The amount needed to advance doubles each level, so level 3 would cost 16 XP. Every level adds 1 health. Every 4 levels you get to add a skill. Most skills will add a die to the result checks. Non-combat checks. D4 results. 1. Absolute failure. You don't get what you want and things get a lot worse. 2. Partial failure. You don't get what you want. 3. Partial success. You get what you want, but things get complicated. 4. Absolute success. You get what you want and more. Oracle. D4 results. 1. No. And. 2. Just no. 3. Yes, but. 4. Yes, and. The fairly new arena is empty, save for two sisters of divine light. Rueful words echo its opening space, as the voices of the crowd delight in the excitement of the battle to come. The crowd settles as dread Lord Lancaster sits down at his throne. The capable guard create a wall of death around him, as he motions for Jerry, his gesture, to commence the event. Jerry begins, Ladies and gentlemen, beasts of all realms, Lord Lancaster bids you welcome to today's events. As normal folk, chosen at random, step forward to become new warriors in his lord's service, who shall be showered in wealth. But alas, only one may accept this title as his lordship's warrior pro tem. Twelve individuals shall enter this arena, two at a time, till only one is left. Let us start the first bracket. Julia of Portsmouth versus Amethyst of Hortzhoff. Hey peeps, thanks for peeping. Uh, I have decided I'm just going to go ahead and do the brackets myself. I did a couple of tests with uh, trying to do it with the group. Or I, actually, I just recorded this when we were playing our usual Friday nights. And it is so hard to either get everyone's volume right or everyone's internet to be working right. Uh, where we live at, two of us, it's, a, it's, it's really a a crapshoot on whether or not you're going to get a good internet. So I just decided, well, they made the characters, so but I'm going to go ahead and play them out. And I made out the brackets, which I'll show at the end of the game. But the first bracket is between Amethyst, which belongs to my friend Cash, and uh, Julia, which is one of the ones I rolled up. So anyway, they, they bring them out on the field. They each come through those big doors down there. And... Um, and we're going to go ahead and roll for each one of them's initiative. So this is really the first time we're really going to full-on play it. So we'll take a look at their uh, character sheets. You see Amethyst has like 6 health and a movement of 5. But, you know, mm, body. Julia has uh, 5 health 
and five movement, six luck. What would have damaged this luck? Oh, he only had four. Mm. So we'll see what they can pull off with that. Remember, you can use luck to roll again or to add dice to your roll to give yourself more of an opportunity to succeed. So anyway, let's go ahead and start. We'll go ahead and start with uh, we'll roll Amethyst. We'll put the dice out first. And we're going to roll. This is initiative, which is a 2d4 plus their body. So this is Amethyst. He's got a 7. And what was his body? I believe his body was 1, but let's double check. 1. So 7 plus 1 is 8. So that'll put him at 8. And the higher number goes first, of course. Now let's let uh, Julia roll. 6. And I believe her body was 1 as well. Yeah, so... That puts her just below, let's say seven, so she's just below. And why her tag is messed up is beyond me, but anyway. So she's going right after him. All right, so we'll start with him. So we're going to do it where you can either move or attack. And looking at his, uh, his abilities, all he has is dig, which he can dig underground and tracking. But he has a dagger because he's a merchant. Yeah, merchant's got to have daggers. So anyway, he's going to, he can use a dagger if he gets close. He can attack. But remember, he only has that one body. So he can move five. So he's an Orn. They're kind of aggressive because I guess they don't really fear death. Because he, even, well, in this case, you know, the, the sisters of the Divine Light are going to bring them back to life. But even though, even then, he would just stop running for a while and just re come back they don't really die they have to be destroyed every bit of their rock has to be destroyed so anyway he can move five well, double check yeah he can move five so we're gonna uh, move him five one two four five he's making a beeline for her. so let's look at julia's her turn I'll make sure what she's got going on she has cooking and she has fire starting. Now, fire starting means she can start a fire in a square near her, adjacent to her. So let me think about that. What would she do? What was her movement? Her movement was five. So, and his was five too. Yep, yeah, both almost five. All right, so she she gonna go ahead and. I'm going to do something different. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five. Coming up there. All right, so it's his turn. He is going to move this way five. One, two. All right, so kind of puts him at a disadvantage. She can move. But if she moves, then he'll get an attack on her. Because you can only have one action in this game. So I'm going to try to cause a fire. So let's use her fire skill. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's look at Julia. Fire starting. Now fire starting, we'll use her, we'll use her mind for that. So let's use 2d4. This is a skill that she knows. So let's roll this. There's a three on that one, a three on that one. And once again, if we look, three is a partial success. You get what you want, but it's complicated, right? So let's go see what we can do with that. So she goes to start a fire here, and it starts. But let's say it's a little bit more aggressive than she thought. Where's where's the orb worker? That'll work. Starts a little fire there. <laughs> 
but it's a little bit bigger than she thought and it's kind of dangerous it's almost catching her on fire so she's gonna have to be careful so now it's his turn again he is going to move his five he's gonna come in right here I, he would do that because, like I said, he's more confident of his existence. So now it's her turn. She is going to uh, attack him, which is kind of folly because both of them have that. Well, she does have a butcher knife and does two points. So we'll go ahead and use it. She is going to use one of her lock. So that's going to give her two dice. So let me go ahead and change that down to five oh it's wrong <laughs> but anyway she's down to five and she's gonna get to roll two dice if one of these can be a three or a four then she hits him of course not so she misses in fact uh, well the two the two is the higher thing so in combat two you do not hit and you're in the same position as in before so now nothing happens she she doesn't hit but she doesn't get hurt so now it's his turn so i guess he, he that played out pretty well for him uh once again so he's got the same problem really i think he's going to use the luck to So he's going to roll two dice as well. Uh oh, four. That's full damage, full weapon damage. So what was his full weapon damage? What was he using? A dagger. And it's three points. So he did three points of damage to uh, Julia. And if I remember correctly, I'm going to say three points of damage or three points of damage. So already poor Julia all right so now it's her turn you gotta go for it all man this is your only chance Julia so Julia's gonna use another one of her luck to roll two dice in fact let's use two of them I'm gonna take her down to three Takes her down to three. So let's give her an extra dice, put it out there first, and then we'll roll them. Two. One of them was a three, which is a one point hit. That's just great. Poor Julia. <laughs> but she did do one point of damage to her. So now it's back to him. He's got her down pretty good. If he can just hit, but I don't know. Well, you want to make it to the rest of the brackets, too. So, um, I think he'll just, he'll just normal hit. I think that, that sounds, that sounds like a good idea. So let's clear these guys out. We'll put one out there. And then we're going to roll it. Oh, so he does one point of damage to her. All right, now it's her turn. So, dang, she keeps using up all of her luck. She won't have nothing for the rest of the brackets. Let's, uh, let's let her do a normal attack. Maybe she'll get lucky. I doubt it. <laughs> Roll! Oh, nope. Nothing. In fact... No, that's right. She just she doesn't take any damage. She doesn't even do any damage. And it's his turn. He's just going to do a normal attack. Oh! All right, so he goes to stab her, per the rules. 
you take one point of damage. She gets to counterattack for one point. So that takes another point off of him. So now it's her turn. She's just going to use her regular attack. She does one point of damage to him. Oh, you better watch out, Warren. She's going to dink you down. All right, right now, let's look at how we are. It's going to be Amethyst's turn. She has one point. He has three. I think he's going to try to roll, because like I said, they're going to try to conserve whatever luck they got left. Ah. So he just did one point of damage to her, and he kills her. So that takes her down. So she falls over. One of the sisters here runs over, starts healing her. And uh, Jerry announces that the winner, Amethyst, he moves on to the quarterfinals. And they bring Julia back to life. And she kind of sulks because there went to her whole chance to have a restaurant. She shakes the Warren's hand and she leaves. So there's our first bracket taken care of. Uh, Amethyst will be moving on. He's running around out there. Yay! Waving his hands. As an ambassador for the Warrens to these people. Because I don't think there's any. Well, there's no, in that, no other ones in the crowd, is there? Nope. <laughs> so this one, the only one you've ever seen. But uh, anyway, I, I'm hoping to do one of these a night to complete these. They didn't seem to take too long. They're very low hit points <laughs> since they're level zero characters. But uh, hopefully I'll get around. I'll get around to it. Uh, that's one reason why I haven't been around is, first of all, this system that I'm doing this on, even though it is a rendering beast, it is very quirky. It uh, I don't know if it's the install is not good. I need to reinstall it. If I ever get some time off again, I'll, I'll reinstall it. But it's been very quirky. <laughs> And uh, I'm surprised it's lasted through all this recording. But, you know, I'm, I was doing that. And I've been working a lot. And when I wasn't working, we was having holiday stuff. So it was really hard. But uh, I'm hoping to start creating again and start making stuff again. But anyway, I, I thank you for watching. And uh, come back for the next one when we do the next bracket. Which I believe is Chickamack and Parmesan. So we'll see how that goes. But thanks for watching.